Do you guys ever wonder how I keep my bike so clean? Yes, that's uh, this has been a very highly requested video for some time now and pretty much on a weekly basis on my Instagram. People wanna know how I keep these bikes so clean and yeah. So to end this video, um, you're gonna know. Everyone's pretty, everyone's always asking how I keep my bikes so clean. I mean, this one right now is filthy. And yeah, she has been washed in a while. So today we're gonna be going over how I keep my bikes so clean. We're gonna be doing a thorough wash through. I really don't use any fancy stuff, guys. I just, I use Meguiar soap, water, and then some pink stuff for the shine, but we'll get into that towards the end of the video. Um, but let's just get into it. We're gonna go ahead and take off the leather pro bags, take off the La Para seat, because we don't wanna get that wet, have it soaked there. It's the worst thing you wanna do is sit on a soaked seat. So we'll go ahead and do that. you want to go ahead and do is just if you want just cover this up just to protect all those wires in there and then obviously you're going to cover up your air cleaner not to get water over that thing so you want to do first is give it a nice little spray make sure the bike is all wet So this right here is the Meguiar soap that I use. It's just Meguiar soap that you get from your local AutoZone for cars or bikes, whatever you want to use it for. It's just this, it's nothing fancy. It's, it works great, it gives a bike a great shine. And just, I've been using this thing for literally for the past 10 years on all my bikes and all my cars and everything. So Meguiar, if you're listening. Fill up the bucket up a quarter of the way, a little less than a quarter. Just dump a good amount in there. No measurements, just a good amount. Make it bubbly. Wherever it around. Now you should start off from the top and work your way down. You're not really supposed to apply anything on these Memphis Shades windshields, but soap is fine but no crazy sprays on there or anything like that. Just because you don't want to damage that windshield. Don't forget to do the inside.
we really get into every little crevice of the bike, every part of the frame that's gonna be exposed out, anyone can see. Anything that anybody can see, you wanna kind of go over. Now today we're gonna be doing a little more of a speed job, but usually I like to take my sweet time and literally go over every little crevice and make sure there's no uh, spots left over. Now, I do run my bikes, and yes, they're always clean. Because people tend to say, well, your bike's always clean because maybe you're just not riding them hard enough. But I ride them and I wipe them down as soon as I get home. So that's the key to it. I just don't just wash them because I wash them once in a few. But as far as keeping them clean, I like to wipe them down anytime I get home from a ride. Any bug splatter, any dust, any pollen, uh, that all comes off. Um, I wipe them down before I go out for any ride. So it's all wiping down going down. Now one of the last things I do is go over the wheel. That's the last thing you want to do. Just in case if there's any little particles or rocks or sand that you don't want to wipe down on your paint. That's why you want to start with your paint first and then move your way down. Because if anything that this might pick up, any little rocks or so that might scratch your paint, you want to leave this for last. Make sure to do both sides, in and out. These wheels here, they're uh, really easy to clean. Not like the wheels on my road glide. Those are a bit more challenging. But this is pretty easy. Especially out of those little crevices that kind of stay on there when you take off and there's water splatting all over the place. It's this right here. So you get yourself a leaf blower and just blow everything away. It'll leave most of the spots pretty dry up and all you gotta do is just finish wiping it down with a towel um, generally I really don't like to wash bikes in the Sun just because it 
it'll leave stuff like this, like streaks. The sun will just dry the soap up really fast. So I literally do it in the afternoon in the shade. Uh, today's just different circumstances because of you guys. But yeah, that'll, that'll all come off right now. Um, but yeah, in the shade, it keeps everything nice and cleaner. Uh, but we'll just start wiping everything down. Make sure everything's dry. one last thing that I like to do this is what gives the bike its shine it's more of a pop um, so this you can get from Harley it's called ace it they they sell it pretty much our Harleys um, it works really well I've had this bottle for some time now I also have this uh, plus soap product here this is this works really well as well I've been using this a lot on the on the road glide but either or either pink stuff you can spray it on spray it on your towel or spray it on the bike just wipe it down it gives it a nice shine um, I mean the soap alone from the from the Meguiar gives it a nice shine already but this on top of it just makes it uh, gives it a bit of a pop um, and that's pretty much it we'll spray this on and on the road. The good thing about these products is that they're also really good. You can use them on any surfaces. So for your paint, for your chrome, um, for your pipes, whatever you want to use it for, it's, it's good for everything. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Like I said, this was a simple, quick little wash today. I usually take my time. Um, I'm usually out here for about 45 minutes to an hour, just going through every little crevice. I do it in the shade, not in the sun, and I make sure that my bikes are spectacular looking. I like to have a clean bike. Um, that's it. If you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And um, I'm about to hit the road because I'm off from work today. And it's a beautiful day out here in Dirty Jersey. Peace.